Welcome back, and in this video we're going to be wrapping up our mini video series about a deeper dive into costs and synchro. And here we're going to cover a topic that often comes up, which is how to use Excel to simplify the cost loading process rather than using script or user fields. And there are two main ways to do that. One is pretty simple copy paste and the other is by exporting part of the data model and then trying to import modifying it and trying to import it back. So we're going to cover both. The first one is simple copy paste. So for that, I'm going to open Excel. And the reason why people do that is sometimes you want to load cost based on an activity ID or an activity code or the name of the activity and use VLOOKUP to tie it with a different table somewhere else from like a procurement database and load the costs from there. If you're going to do that, make sure when you're copying from Excel, from Synchro to Excel, to include that column that you want to use VLOOKUP by because what you copy is what you get. So in our case, we're just going to put random values so it doesn't matter. If we were pretending that it was the ID, then we have to include that ID. Uh, for example, you see you can't really change that cost value. You have to change the ones here, the children. So in order, you can copy paste everything and then only modify the children or to avoid any confusion, you can go to list mode and then copy from there. So you have to right click, use copy tasks. Go to Excel and paste it there. Now it's very important that the sorting remains the same. So before copying and pasting, make sure you're not sorted by budget to direct cost because as you change these values, you're going to be populating them and the sorting is going to change. So make sure you're sorting by something that's not going to change. So I can go back here and I can modify those values. Let's say 777 and let's all make them 777 just for example's sake. Uh, actually, let's not make them all this way. Maybe add a 500 every other one just so that we know it's working correctly. Otherwise, it's harder to tell. So I can do that. And here you select them and you can do multiple columns at once. I'm not going to do this column because this is something that you can't really modify in Synchro budget total cost. So it has to be a modifiable column. You select them all, you s select where you want to start, and you paste this text and fills them down. And when you go to WBS mode again, you have the totals adding up at the level of the parent. So that's the copy-paste method. For example, you can also do it for durations and anything that is modifiable in Synchro. So start dates, finish dates, and user fields as well. Now, the other way you can use Excel in is to export to Excel. This export to Excel is different from copy paste in that it exports a good part of the data model, not everything, but a good part of it. So I'm going to export and call it uh, cost Excel export. Now here you may have an error if you don't have the correct drivers installed and I'll go over that. Uh, at the end of this video so if you have that error stick around and usually you want to skip what you don't need now this is a very small project so i'll export everything so we can learn about everything but on large projects to save time you might want to skip the things that you will not be modifying in excel so i'll export that i'll close this excel in the meantime we don't need it anymore The export is done. I'll go to my cost Excel export over here. And we can see, for example, it has a settings tab. It has a tab for all of the resources. If you want to change resource costs, make sure to have the column loaded before you export to Excel. You have the activity codes and resource codes, the tasks, and you can also change values from here, the links and the assignments, so these are each task, which racial source is it assigned to with the planned units, and you can also modify them 
a list of the direct costs. Now the direct costs can be found here and here so generally you want to avoid confusion. If you want you can just delete that table so it doesn't conflict with the other one. Uh, I'll keep it and we'll see what happens. Now if you delete that table no the tasks will not be deleted from your schedule. The only way to delete a task from a schedule via the Excel is to actually type in DEL in the delete column and I'm not going to do that. So in direct costs column I'm going to change them all to 20,000. and save that file go back to synchro file import whoops sorry file import excel and find that file and you can also skip what you don't want but this is a small project so we can do everything and here we have all the 20s so this direct costs table over here takes priority over budgeted direct costs column over here but again if you don't want to risk it just delete one of them and you can use vlookup to get in data from other places and this concludes our mini series on a deeper dive into cost in synchro i hope this was helpful and please let us know if you have any comments or questions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.